Hallelujah. What a wonderful day to share the word of God. And we get that from Genesis chapter chapter 1. You know, when we began the month of May, I was just asking, God, what is so special about the month of May? What is so special? I meditated on that day, on that thing for a long time. The first day came, and the second day I was just, God, what is so special about the month of May? And God took me to the book of Genesis during creation. God was like, Ebu enda kwa creation on the fifth day and find out what I did on the fifth day. But before I get to the fifth day, let me just give you a background so that Tushikanisha Sisi Wawili, Tushikanisha his story. On the, before Tufike on the fifth day, on the second day, because he took me to the creation, how he began creating the world. On the second day, God created the heaven, or rather, he separated the heaven from the waters aka separate because the earth was very formless that's a story for another day i want to, i don't want to get into that and on the third day he gathered water water together and called it sea and appear and appearing of dry land he called it earth all right i'm not doing this because of the floods this is something special just follow me follow i'm getting somewhere so to kifika day five to nona god created the sea creatures and every living thing that moves, and every winged bird according to their kind. Now that is in Genesis verse 1, chapter, chapter 1, verse 20 to 23. On day 5, he created what? He created, every, uh, he created great sea creatures and every living thing that moves, and every winged bird according to their kind. And God saw that it was Good. And God blessed them saying, and this is the blessing God has given us in this month of May, considering it is the fifth month of the year 2024. And you know what I was asking God, what is so special about the month of May? And he said, go to day five and see what I said according to day five what I created on day five. And he said, and God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and fill the waters in the sea and let birds multiply on the earth. So the evening and the morning were the fifth day. God commanded the sea creatures to multiply. He saw that everything that he had created on that day was very beautiful, was so good to him. It was so good that you were created. It was so good that this day came. It was so good that the month of May came. And he say, be fruitful and multiply. And Sasa Nikashikanisha, when you look at this calendar that we are using, it's a Roman calendar, a Gregorian one. And the month of May is connected to, to fruitfulness. No Jew Shetani Ananga had ideas. He copies everything from the word of God. So the month of May is connected to a, a goddess who is connected to fruitfulness, fertility. Yes, the word is fertility, multiplication, fertility, fruitfulness. So I'm just here to declare that this is the month that you've entered. This month is your month of fruitfulness your month of multiplication, the, your month of fertility, speak to that dry land. Speak to that wilderness that you've been staying since January to Mefika, the month of May. You have entered the month of multiplication. You have entered the month of fruitfulness. You've entered the month of fertility. You will be pro prosperous in every way, in every way, in everything that you do, in your school, in your business, in your career, in your family, in your ministry. Speak to it that you've entered that month where you will be multiplied, where you will be fruitful, where there will be fertility. Yes, in Kuna, everything that you can ever imagine, God is going to prosper you because this is the month where now we enter into fruitfulness. You've experienced lack since January, but this month of May, I'm here to bring you good news that you are entering the month of fruitfulness in Jesus' mighty name. I even wrote that declaration here. Declare to every wilderness in your life that your fruitfulness has come in this month of May and the Spirit of God is going to lead you that you encounter this dimension in Jesus' mighty name. Right? Amen, amen. And because every single Sunday, every single opportunity I get, I prefer that we pray together. 
kama kuna yule msaa ametune na akasema hii ndo siku yangu napokea Yesu Kristo this is the moment and this is the time let me just lead you to the to to, the, to make the prayer right about now because of time to end it right now just repeat after me say lord jesus on this day i declare that i am a child of god i receive into my life that you are my Lord and Savior. I profess it in my mouth. I confess it with my mouth and receive it in my, and believe it in my heart that I am a child of God. I receive you, Jesus Christ, as my Lord and Savior. Lord, I, I acknowledge that I am a sinner in need of a Savior. And on this day, I make this decision. I turn around and follow you, Jesus Christ, as my Lord and Savior. Lord, I thank you for each and every person that has made this prayer. Lord, may you walk with them. And even as they have made this prayer, let them begin walking in the dimension of multiplication as, we've, as we have entered this month of May. We thank you for this wonderful show and the success of the show. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, amen. amen. amen.